Modern English teachers need online resources like websites to support their teaching. Today I will share 20 of the best websites for ESL teachers. These include websites where you can play games in class or online, download worksheets, find information like lesson plans, ideas, grammar, activities, and video or audio resources to use for teaching English. I'm not going to include sites such as ClassDojo or paid sites like Kahoot. These are free and mostly specific to teaching English. If this video proves helpful, please consider giving it a like and sharing it with your colleagues. The first sites I want to introduce are the ones where you can download English worksheets for free. One of my favorite sites to use is ISL Collective. This is where I find the majority of the worksheets that I use. Let's say you want to do something on past tense. Here are all the worksheets you can find with past tense and then you can download for free. They will ask you if you want to donate but you don't need to. This is definitely one of my favorite sites. The next site I like to use for worksheets is called EnglishWSheets.com. Here you can find lots of worksheets on grammar. For example, let's say you go to contractions. You just close this ad down. We can view and then is, has, or possessive s. And then you only go up here and you download it for free, the PDF. Let's open it up. Look how good that is. English W Sheets is very useful because you can search by grammar or you can go here by vocabulary. They've got so many great free worksheets to use. My number three website is also for worksheets and it's called Boggles World ESL. And up here you'll see it says Lanternfish and you can find so many good things. You've got ESL for adults, flashcards, you can see there's survival English business English, some lesson plans over here, holiday worksheets and for young learners. Let's go here to worksheets. Look at this. Look at all these worksheets you can use. Let's say personality, for example, worksheet one. There we go. Here we've got a word search that you can use for that. Comprehension. So many things that you can use here. You don't need a book. You just go on here and you can construct your own curriculum. We as teachers also have to find relevant resources to share. On the next couple of websites you can find news articles for young English learners as well as websites for questions on many topics. Website number four is Breaking News English. This is great. Every couple of days they bring out a new current news topic. You can see Amazon creates Amazon booths. You go in here then it's got some reading for students that they can do and see all the activities they've got. Okay, so the warm-up here, they show you some of the expressions that are used. They ask you some questions, some stresses that you have. Rank these with your partner. This is a fun activity. Vocabulary matching, true or false, synonym matching, phrase matching. You go down here, you can put in the words in the correct place. There's listening that you can do, listen and fill in the gaps, comprehension questions, multiple choice, role playing. So if you're a teacher, you can find this, you can use it for your whole lesson and they've got everything planned out for you. Website number five is ESL Discussions. Now what I like to do here is I like to find a topic and then questions for students to ask each other. So let's say I go to advertising. Now it's got questions for student A and questions for student B. You print these out, you hand one to student A and one to student B, and they ask each other these questions. Website number six is J. You can find different games that students can use. So if you want to try a game, let's say you want to try sentence race, it explains it very well well. You can also find many questions on these different topics. So if you don't think that the ISL discussions has proper questions, you can go on here and you can say, okay, first dates, and it's got some questions that you can ask your students when you start your class. When teaching in class with a projector or smart screen, or when teaching online, language game websites are a must for every ESL teacher. 
These are 100% necessary with young learners, but can also add some spice to lessons with older students and adults. Who doesn't like to learn while having fun? Now onto the game websites. So you can use these websites when you teach in class and you've got a projector or big screen for the students to use, or if you're teaching online English. I've already done a full video on how to use it. I've also done another video on 10 games from Bamboozle that are great for English learners. So I'll link those and put them in the description below. Go to games. You can search for some games, let's say conversation. And then you'll find some conversation starters, some questions. You'll also see how popular they are. Let's take this one. This one's got a lot of likes. You open it up. You can see some of the questions that there are. You say play. You can pick how many teams there are, how many questions, and then you say quiz. And then the students can pick a number. So let's say they pick number four. What's your dream job? And the student has to answer it. Okay. And you've got so many free games to pick from, or you can create your own games. The next site that I like to use is called Wordwall. What's great about Wordwall is that you can pick a template, you can create your own game, and then that game can switch and you can use it in a different format. Website number nine, Games to Learn English. Once again, this is something you can use in class. I like the animation and it's very simple and sleek. Perfect tense, fast English, questions, uh, speaking phrases. Let's take speaking phrases, see what that does. So you can send this link to your students and they can practice it. Say, okay, start speaking, it gets your voice. Okay, and start. Let's take uh, verbs two, round one. Here is looking at the clock. Huh, I'm quite smart. <laughs> the next website is called Fun Brain. It's great for reading, for videos, and games to play. You can have some readers here. You can have it at different levels too. So let's say the cat that broke the internet's back. It's free, so you can read it. You open it up. The students can read the story. They've even got Diary of a Wimpy Kid in here very popular book series where the students can link. So I love this fun brain. So many great things on this website to try out. These days, teachers need to incorporate songs and fun videos to their classes. Chants are particularly useful when teaching kindergarten and young learners. The next websites have great video resources that you can use in class. Remember to add movements to increase engagement. I made another video on 10 TPR total physical response, activities that you can use in your English lessons. Website 11 is super simple. Now this is for younger learners. They've got some songs that the kids can sing along with. Them. Go to songs here for super simple. Let's say the farmer in the Dell. Okay, well that sounds fun. It's one of the biggest YouTube channels out there. Also got some games, some things to see, some printouts. This is fantastic, especially for young learners. You know, if they just want to sing along, you can do some chants and some activities with them. Another video and free song site is Dream English. I believe they're also on YouTube. He is just fantastic with these songs. The wedding song? The clothing song. The clothing song. Socks. Socks. Shoes. Shoes. Pants. Pants. What are you wearing? What are you wearing? Why are you wearing today? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. I'm wearing socks. I'm wearing socks. I'm wearing shoes. I'm wearing you can see how young learners will just absolutely love this site. So they've also got lesson plans for the videos that you can look at, vocabulary words, numbers. The next site is called ESL Video, and it's exactly what you think it is. They've got all these great videos that you can use for teaching English. 
so they've got grammar categories and they've got the different levels you can look at so let's say for example let's go to low intermediate you click there you've got some experiments for science unchained melody okay righteous brothers that's cool classmate interviews gophers so all these videos that you can watch listening is one of the most important skills when learning english here are some websites for listening resources and activities elo is a very famous site primarily for its listening lesson library so let's say photo manners this is quite new so you listen to the conversation talking about manners and then they've also got the script down here they've got vocabulary to you so you can just listen to it and then they've got the question and they've also got a quiz for the students another great site for listening material is ESL lab it'll say here Randall's ESL cyber listening lab it's got some listening activities like listening games you can pick what level they are basic English quizzes let's check out the quizzes for example you go in here all these topics for easy so let's go to easy let's say meeting people one hi my name is Josh it's great for for English learners and for teachers so that you can send this to your students or you can use it in class many new teachers are constantly looking for lesson plans and even experienced educators can add these to their teaching arsenal you can also find many websites to get grammar related lessons are you guys getting tired yet we're at 16 now a couple more websites to go okay this is called ESL flow and it's also got lots of lesson plans and resources to you so let's say I clicked on topics for English learners let's say jobs for example it's got so many lesson plans that you can use what's my job there we go so you've got many worksheets that you can use that you can print out you can find lesson plans and a multitude of different worksheets teachingenglish.org we can see it's uh, with the British Council and the BBC I think this is definitely a good site for worksheets and lesson plans as well you can see lesson plans for primary English Club is a great website where you can get resources specific for the grammar so let's say for example parts of speech go to spots of speech and they explain everything whatever you're looking up you can learn so much from this okay irregular verbs there you've got a verb list pronunciation activities that they can use word stress sentence stress another site for grammar is English grammar it's got some lesson plans it gives you the grammar rules some online exercises uh, so you just go down here and see oh what do I want to learn about let's say I want to learn about punctuation I want to learn about so you've got the comma using quotation marks finally I will share two special websites the first is a website where you can download great PPTs for free I especially like the bomb games and then an app that randomly picks a student's name from class the final site I want to talk about I also did a video on this this is a great site for free PPT games you know as teachers you want to play games in the class so this is a site it's called team teacher China ESL PowerPoint games you go down here you've got ability adjectives and you just click and you download it it'll take you to the Google Drive where you can download the PPT they made and they're all so good my favorite thing though is the bomb games so you can see Avengers Batman so you can download the games and you can simply use it I'll also put the video that I made about this site in the description below the next website I want to show you is an app it's called the no hands app and you can use this app to randomly select a student the thing is it will always be random so even if a student was picked they might be picked the next round as well that keeps them on their toes so you just go here to this website eHide you go download no hands so next you unzip it Okay. go to downloads where you've got it so you can see it's here no hands after you open up you can see it says student 8 student 3 so how can you change that you can see once you open it up there's a file here now no hands classes you open that up 
and now you can put in your students names all you do is you say class let's say the class name is English a1 and then you can say what time is the class uh, 1 p.m. and then you just put in your students names Eric Ben Susan and Danny okay and then you just uh, save and you close and then you open it up and now it's going to randomize the names so if you want to pick a student in class to answer a question, you just click on here. And the thing is, all the students have to pay attention because this is random. Even if they were picked, it might pick them again. And you can see it says here, no hands, English A1 at 1 p.m. This is the list of websites for ESL teachers. Try them out and let me know which ones you find the most useful in the comments below. I'm Eric from Etiquette and I'll see you next time.